Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the first video of the series where we are building a notes application from scratch using Angular. So here I have a demo of this application. So this is the end result of what we will be building in this tutorial. Okay, so let's test this application. Let's create a new note. Let's set the title to reminder and let's set the body to uh, remember to call Gary. Okay, and let's save this now. And there we go. We now have our first note. Cool. Let's create a new one. Let's set this to new note. This is a test. Click save. And there we go. Cool. All right, let's add a new note. Let's set this to uh, lorem ipsum. So let's just put some dummy text in this note. I am just going to paste in some dummy text like that. Okay, let's save that. Great, so here we have this lorem ipsum note here. And as you can see, we have this fade out happening here because this is a very large note. So to save space on the main screen, we are just cutting it off here on the third line and we are applying a uh, fade out uh, gradient here. So this indicates to the user that there is more text than what's being shown and they can then click on this note to then see the full note like that. Okay, let's click cancel to go back to the main page. Okay, and let's now try and delete this note. And there we go. As you may have noticed, these note cards are animated. So when we deleted that note, it was removed from the UI with an animation. It zoomed out and uh, faded out at the same time. Let's try and delete this one and let's see the animation again. Cool. So in this series, you'll learn how to add these animations to these cards. Awesome. Okay. Let's now create a few more. Let's set this to test. Testing one, two, three. Okay. Let's add a few more. Test one, two, three. Save. Let's set this to one. Let's add another one and let's set this to two. And let's set this to one, two, three. Okay. And now let's test out the search functionality. So inside here, let's type in new. Okay. And the only note that's left in the UI is this new note. Great. Let's now type in test. And now we only see the notes which contain the word test. So here, this note contains the word test inside the note body. And here we have test and testing. And here we have the word test in the title of this note. Awesome. Let's try this one last time uh, with one. Great. So now we only have these notes which contain the word one in the note title or in the note body. Cool. So in this series, we will be implementing this filtering functionality. And also these search results are sorted. So for example, if we type in one, two, three. So here we see that the most relevant results are towards the top and the least relevant results are towards the bottom. So here we have one, two, three as the search query. And here we have testing one, two, three. So this whole search query is inside this note. So it's at the top. And this note has one, two, three in the note title. So it's towards the top. And here we also have this note here, which has one, two, three as the title. But down here, we have just one and just two. So these notes are less relevant than these ones up here. So sorting these search results is another interesting thing that we will cover in this series. Cool. All right. Let's now delete the search query so that we can see all of these notes. Okay. And let's actually try and edit one of these. Let's go to this one here and let's change the title to old note. And let's change the body and let's set this to this has been updated. Okay. And let's click save. 
Great, and now we can see that this has been updated. This note here now has the title of old note and the body of this has been updated. Awesome. Cool, all right. Let's now try and delete these. Let's go here and let's delete that. That's nice. Let's go and delete this one. Awesome. Let's delete this. And let's delete this one. Cool. All right, then. Let's now go and start building this application. The first thing we have to do is create the Angular project and start building the user interface. So let's get started. 